two artisans? Wealth and war. And the story that I tell is true. There once was a young page, new to the country that she was visiting, not knowing many people, but having a, a good a good job, a good start in her new in her new country, but lacking in foundation, lacking in depth. She let other people around is what her job was, and she needed something more to do. So she asked friends and, and other neighbors if there was something that, that would fill her heart. I know of a place. And she was brought to a gentleman, an artisan, a musician, a chef, a cook, and a lover of beauty. He was tall, he was handsome, he was by far the most spectacular thing she'd ever seen in her life. And he said, what are you doing right now? He said, my lord, I am, I am here for you. And this gentleman took that young lady's hand and brought her into a room about this big, stacked and stacked with documents and scrolls and information that had been in a tangle for years. And this, this man looked to this young girl and said, we're being audited in three days. Can you fix this? <laughs> My Lord, I am yours. This sparked not only a wealth of friendship, but a, a wealth of heart. Um, my story will provoke, my story will make in sense, but this man was a lover of other men. And he was in love with another artist, a collector of antiquities, a musician, a chef, a, a collector of small, annoying dogs, but that's a whole different part. <laughs> And these, and these two artisans were fighting a war. They were not only fighting a war of hatred and misunderstanding, they were fighting a war within themselves in a disease that did not quite have a name, that did not quite have an identity other than, oh, that belongs to you, and it doesn't belong to us. And it was their war to fight, and it was their war that I became involved in. And in knowing these two, these two wonderful, wonderful men. This girl grew. She grew into someone who was confident in her abilities, who was able to sing before thousands and see one person, and see one person sitting there, or one person sitting there. And she was able to understand so much more than what she had been led to believe about a community, about a lifestyle, about a world that can hate you and you can still love. And the legacy of those two artisans, the legacy of those two artisans came from me and our Clara Bennett and Alan Kelly. <laughs>